Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here for Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks for joining us for this song lesson. Really stoked to bring it to you. We're going to learn a cool song by Train called Drops of Jupiter. Um, we're going to play it arranged for one acoustic guitar. And it's, it's pretty easy. I'm going to get you playing it with just a handful of chords. There's only like, what, uh, six chords. And uh, I'll teach it to you with a couple of strum patterns. And it's a very good song. It's very well written and it's very well arranged and it has some interesting little twists to it. And, um, you know, we try to bring a, a variety of songs here at Epic Guitar Instructions. These, these easy beginner ones are great ones um, to build up your song catalog, right? But we also try to, you know, do different genres of music, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So keep checking back. We post all kinds of stuff. Um, this the interesting twist on this song is if you were trying to play it and have a little trouble getting into the groove maybe at first is because the intro parts and the verses are not in standard 4/4 four, four time they're in 6/8 so it's a little different feel it's not that you know that one and two and three and four and two and two and three and kind of rock feel it's more of like a one two three four five six two two three four five six it's in six right and then it shifts to four four for the pre-chorus chorus i'll show you some easy ways to capture the feel of the song with different strum patterns and also dynamically because the song has a lot of movements where it's like it opens with just you know the the, the piano and then um the vocals come in and then later in the song the band kicks in and then later on it's just the vocals again with the with the organ or the piano and then the strings come in then the band comes in and we could capture all that dynamically with the acoustic right um but the first thing we should do is we should go over all the chords in the song it's only six chords uh so let's take a look at those you're going to need to play a c major a g major f major a uh, D major, a D minor, and you're going to need a B flat major bar chord. You could play the whole B flat major chord, or if you want to just play, if you're not maybe up to bar chord yet, you can just play the little power chord, or just even two note it. Just play the two notes, the fifth chord, B flat fifth, that'll work. Okay, so the song opens up with the intro and the chords for the intro that are played on the piano I'll just give you a simplified version of it because he's throwing in some other notes, but we'll just make it easy um, It's just a C For one measure one time through the strum pattern, which I'll show you to a G to an F Right and let me play it for you and then I'll break it down into the first verse and that's the intro and it's the same for the verses those are the same chords throughout the whole song for the verses the strum pattern we're going to use for those parts is just a down up down 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 and it's very laid back down up down 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 up down 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 so if you're unfamiliar with strum patterns um, as far as if, if the longer patterns kind of get confusing, try to break it up into smaller patterns. At first, you're just going to do a down stroke, then up, down, and then down, down. So if you put the first two parts together, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then add on the down, down at the end, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Nice long rests too, down, up, down, down. Here it is on the C chord. To the G. To the F. Two times to the F. And it goes right from the intro right into the first verse. Now that she's back in the atmosphere. And you're going to play those same set of changes. And it's three times. repeat that two more times so after the first verse right it's going to kick into this pre-chorus chorus we'll call it and they pick the band kind of kicks in a little bit more so we're gonna kind of um pick up the strum a little bit and build a little bit more complex strum that we'll use in this part and in the next part we'll build on it again all right so this part uh for this pre-chorus chorus the chords are g to a d to an f to a C, this is where it goes, tell me, you know, and then G, 
to a D to a D minor to the F. And that'll sound like this, and then I'll show you the strum pattern. Okay, and that's the same throughout the song. The strum pattern I'm doing there, because we want to build the complexity a bit, build the dynamic a bit, is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. So let's break that up. At first, do two downs, down, down, and then do a down, up, up, down. So you get this. Down, 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 up, up, down. And then put a down, up at the end, right? And I'm just holding the strings just to scratch out the rhythm. goes with the song really nice. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. Next chord. Down, 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 up, down, up. So if I show you how to connect those two, here's the last time through the first verse into the chorus to tell me where we pick it up a little bit. So it sounds like this from that last line of the verse. Two times I chorus. If you find yourself sometimes struggling with strum patterns and rhythm, I can help you with that. You know, it's a very challenging part to beginner guitar. I totally feel you. So let me help you out with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box and I'll send you a free video lesson on strumming and rhythm where you'll learn some killer strumming mechanics tips. You'll learn five or six different strum patterns and I'll break them down. I'll teach you how to break strums apart, how to change them up, how to vary them so you could turn one pattern into four or five patterns. You'll learn all kinds of new patterns, all about rhythm. It'll really help your playing. So that's the intro, verse, chorus, and then it goes into the second verse. And then the whole band kicks in. So we're going to have to pick it up another notch and we're going to add to that strum pattern. And now in the second verse, it's the same set of changes as the first verse. It's that C, that G, and that F, right? So let's change the strum pattern to sound something like this because we want to kick it up another notch dynamically. So let's do something like this built off of the previous strum. Okay, that strum pattern. Again, it fits the music really well. It's just down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So break that up. First thing, let's do three downs. Down, down, down. And then down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Put those parts together. Down, 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 up, up, down. Down, 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 up, up, down. We'll end it with like a straight down, up, down. All three slow. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's all the rhythmic patterns we'll use throughout the whole song. Um, just different uh, times we'll go back to those as per the dynamic in the song. So basically that second verse, you're gonna play those changes, the C, the G, and the F. The F gets the two measures, right? Two times through the strum. Um, and then the third time through, we're gonna do a stop. Uh, uh, not a stop, actually. We're just gonna change the strum on the F where it goes playing old Jane. Again, we wanna match that musically or lyrically. So here it is, I'll, I'll, I'll play that. This is the third time through. OK, 
okay? And that's that F chord with playing old Jane. Um, I just basically just do all downstrokes just to mix it up. You could do the same strum pattern, but he kind of staccato -y changes the vocal line a little bit. Uh, and this will match it nicely. <laughs> Whatever that vocal line is, but uh, so it's it's just a little twist. Again, it'll follow the music nicely. Now, after that uh, second verse, it's going to go back into that pre-chorus chorus again, and because the song is built up, use the same strum I just showed you in the pre-chorus, and 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 here's the chords like we did before, except this time we're going to use that same strum pattern: that down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. If we want to keep that vibe going, right? So that'll just sound like this. I'll play through the changes one time. strum pattern and then after that part it's going to go into this little after the second pre-chorus chorus it's going to go into this little interlude part and in the interlude part it's the same chords and strum again uh, can you imagine no love pride right that part it's the C for one measure the G for one measure and the F for two measures just like the intro and the verse and it does that twice it's going to play that C G F C G F you can use that same strum pattern again. There is a change. So you play it two times, uh, the C, G, and F, two times through, and then you play the C again and the G again, and then it goes to that B flat chord. And that's that uh, best soy latte. And you could use the same strum on there, and it goes to the F chord after that. But the F chord, you're just going to stop, and there's a pause. Just let that ring. So that last C... B flat. And then just strum that F chord once and let it ring. So after the interlude, it's going to go back into this pre chorus chorus. And again, a lot of these are the same parts, same chords. You know, maybe we're just changing the strum pattern a little bit as per to match up to the dynamics of the song, right? But it's basically all the same thing. And uh, this time in this pre-chorus chorus, there's just a little twist to it, but it's basically the same chords that G, D, F, C, um, like we played in the, uh, the, the, the pre-chorus before. They play through those changes twice, the G, D, F, C. So the first time, do it a little softer. The second time, do it a little louder. And then after that, it goes to the G, just like in the pre-chorus, chorus G, D, D minor, and F. But on the F, there's, you're only going to play part of the strum, and then there's a stop. And then looking for yourself, stop, it changes, and then it goes into the outro chorus, that na, 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 right? So that part sounds like this, and then I'll explain it. Uh, I'll play the whole thing. So it's soft on the first time through. Bring it. Same changes. G. D. To the D minor after this. See how I stopped on the F? And that's when it stops looking for yourself. So on the F chord, all I did was I went down, 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 up, up, down, down, and stopped. I left off the little bit of the end of the strum. Stop. Na na. Then it goes into this outro, which is the pre-chorus chorus. There's a little twist on that again. Again, these are very small little things. You have the whole crux of the of the song. The outro chorus where he's doing the na na's. 
is just C, G, and F, and you can use that same strum pattern, same as the, you know, when the verses kick in, and then C, G, and F again, so two times, and then the next time you're gonna go C, G, B flat. The B flat chord, and then the F, and that's where the song ends, you can kinda just let that F ring. I'll play that for you, here's the outro. Right out of this F chord, I'll do the F chord with the stop. So pause, and then. big F chord and that's the whole song and again I was just arranging this for one guitar to try to capture the dynamics rhythmically and the vocal melody line with the strumming and, and the acoustic guitar right a lot of fun to play very well written song with the cool kind of 6-8 vibe in the in the in the intros and the verses and then kicking into the 4-4 four four for that strong chorus right all right hey thanks so much for joining us I hope you enjoyed that lesson remember to click on that link and I'll send you that free video lesson and ebook. It will really help you along in your playing. I'll send it to you for free. It's a great lesson. You'll really enjoy it. And be sure to come back and check out some more of our song lessons here at Epic Guitar Instruction. Um, subscribe to the channel because then I'll let you know when we have some new lessons coming out, right? And it really helps us too if you put a comment in the YouTube comment box below. Let us know, you know, how you like the video or what else you want to learn or where you're at in your guitar journey. Click the like button if you like it, the thumbs up. That really helps us out. All right, I'm David Taub for Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, and um, keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. It really helps. Even if you have only a spare five or ten minutes, keep practicing your chord changes and your strumming mechanics. And um, practice these changes back and forth, back and forth if you get stuck on one. And soon you'll have that muscle memory. It'll be on automatic. You'll be on autopilot, like a fighter jet, right? All right, well, hey, thanks again. We'll see you back here next time. Take care, keep on rocking.